Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs and for this review we are looking at the Storm Collectibles Special Edition only at Toys R Us Green M Bison which is still in the same situation as the Blue Ken. Nobody really seems to know what's happening with these guys. They were available at New York Comic Con from what I understand and that's about it. They never really showed up at Toys R Us so I don't know if they're going to or what but I've got it here so I can show you guys. I got it from Bluefin and uh, this way you guys can know if it's worth tracking down or not. All right, so let's go ahead and get it off the stand and we'll do a real quick review on this guy. This guy stands just about seven and a half inches tall to the top of his head. Of course, you can make him a little bit taller if you wanted to by straightening him up a little bit. That's about 19 centimeters, so definitely a little bit of size on this guy, which is awesome. Uh, main differences, of course, are just the color. Uh, there are a couple tiny other things I want to talk about, but obviously he's not red, he's green, and then he has this kind of yellowish color for the armor, and it still does have some black shading and some silver dry brush on it, which looks really cool, it gives it a nice metallic look, very pleased with that. Just a little bit of subtle black shading throughout the green, not a whole lot. I will point out there's a big smooch, smooch, and smooch is not the right word, S smudge, there we go, English. Smudge right here in the mold on this one, so that's pretty disappointing, pretty bummed out about that. But otherwise, the QC seems to be up on these guys. The engineering for the shoulder, I don't know if you guys remember. Here, you know what, let me point this out. Go to this link right here if you want to check out my in-depth review of the figure. I'm not going to spend that much time on this since it's a color variant only, but there's actually two videos. So there's another link right there now which will show you the update. Uh, to that first one because there was a bit of an issue with this guy's shoulder engineering on the inside and as far as I can tell it's a new design altogether and his shoulders are nice and stiff and I've just popped it out to check and it it seems to me that it's a new new design and that's a good thing obviously that they uh, updated it and made it even better so that's awesome shoulders are nice and stiff and I just got done popping this guy out and putting it back in so that's that's awesome the only QC issue other than this which this kind of thing's gonna happen I mean that's definitely a bummer but uh, other than a molding issue, is the, the ankle ball peg seems to be a little bit loose. Um, I don't know. I mean, maybe they were like that before. I don't remember. This one's not so bad. This one's pretty loose, though, so I'm not sure what's up with that. Who knows? It could just be that it came in from the cold weather and it's like that, because that should be the exact same design as before. But otherwise, the QC seems better. Uh, all the joints seem pretty good on this guy, so I'm very happy about that. Uh, as far as accessories go, I'll just run it real quick for you guys. We do have his interchangeable skirt piece, which does require you to pop off his, basically his legs or his lower torso and to swap on the skirt piece. And that is obviously a little bit risky, but his ball peg down here seems to be nice and stiff. So hopefully that doesn't loosen up too much. I haven't done it because I'm not going to bother with it, but uh, there was no real issue with that the first time around, so I doubt there will be this time. So that's pretty good. We have three different faces. The neutral face that comes on him in the package, the one where he's smiling, and then the one where he's laughing or smiling with his mouth open, which all look really nice. We do have the folded arms, which is very relevant to what I was just talking about in the shoulders. Uh, that should be no problem again, though, since the sockets are adjusted to be even better than before. That's, that's pretty good. We have a bunch of different hands. The two fist hands that come on him in the package, two kind of relaxed hands, two sort of grappling shaped hands, two style pose hands, and then two more relatively relaxed hands which are glowing purpley pink which is awesome so that you can use them with the two fireball accessories. They're not really fireballs, they're just kind of chunks of fire that go on his palms. And then we do have his energy effect part which is just a really nice translucent purpley pink shading from purple to pink. Very very cool looking. And then lastly we have the display stand. So. I don't know, if you guys like the green look, then I would say definitely try to track one of these guys down, especially if they start showing up regularly. Uh, it's it's awesome. I love it. I love the green, and then the pink on top with the fire on there looks really, really cool. And the fact that they updated the shoulders, that's pretty cool too. So, uh, alright guys, so there it is. Yeah, I say, I say get it if you can, and if you can't, then uh, fingers crossed that you can at some point. Thanks for watching guys. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. I have new videos up every single day. We talk about action figures, movies, TV shows, video games, all kinds of fun stuff. So make sure you come back for that. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. And in the meantime, keep collecting.